Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Weekly. Today we will discuss about Ansible Tower and how we can take the backup and restore Ansible Tower configurations. Okay, as you know, Ansible Tower is a wonderful product for IT automation. Actually, this one is a simple uh, web console and REST API for the Ansible engine running behind. So we have uh, more options like uh, RBAC than uh, project management. You can manage a lot of projects. You can give access based on the roles. You can create group organization, etc. Installing Ansible Tower is simple and straightforward. So you can create, you can you install the Ansible Tower, then you create the projects, then you create the users or you create the roles, then give permission for the projects based on the roles and uh, you control everything inside Ansible Tower using RPSE. So you have details stored, you have projects saved, you have templates uh, saved, everything you have configured in Ansible Tower. So all of these details will be saved in SQL database. It can be any database, you can use that during installation. So what if you want to take the backup and restore in case uh, we have some issue? So this is a good practice. You need to take the backup of Ansible Tower, including the configuration, all other details. Fortunately, this is made very simple uh, using the setup.sh script inside Ansible Tower installation directory. Yes, the same uh, setup.sh which we use for Ansible Tower installation. So during the installation, you run the setup.sh directly. You will not need to provide any parameter specifically because you configure everything in inside inventory so if you check the help of the setup.sh script you can see there are some options you can give let's say if you want to uh, take the backup you can use the options the switch hyphen b okay and if you want to restore you can use the switch hyphen r Please note, if you are taking backup of uh, Ansible Tower cluster, there is there are some differences and you need to follow the current document. I have already given the link uh, in the description, so please refer that one. So how to backup and restore Ansible Tower configuration? We will see the details in a demo. You can refer Ansible uh, documentation and you can see there are some options for backing up and restoring and simple tower configuration. So if you check, you can see minus B is using for backup and minus R for uh, restoring the backup. Okay. So we will use the same setup.sh script and it will use the same inventory file. So make sure you are inside the same directory. Uh, you have used for uh, installation or just make sure the inventory is correct so do not uh, change the directory or do not use a different version of inventory okay so we will uh, switch to the ansible tower directory then check the inventory so we can see the inventory is the same so for my case i have only one node a single node uh, ansible tower uh, no external database uh, it's already internal only so uh, nothing to change uh, i just verify the details are correct or not and check all other details if anything changed yeah so first uh, i need to check what are the options available uh, with setup.sh script so i will use uh, setup.sh script iphone edge the help uh, so it will show what are the options available so i can see i can specify the inventory files then extra variables then b for backup r for restoring yeah h for uh, showing this uh, help so i run the server.sh script again but uh, this time i will use uh, hyphen b to take backup so you can see it didn't ask me for any uh, file name for the backup so it will take automatically it will use the backup playbook uh, included in the setup directory and it will take the backup of all those configurations automatically so once completed uh, you will see the results or the backup file in the same directory 
so you can see the job already completed everything success and shoot the directory if you check you can see there are two files one is the actual tower backup with the timestamp uh, it will be in gz format then uh, another tower backup dot latest dot tar dot this gz uh, which is pointing to the actual file means always there will be a sim link which will point to the latest one so uh, tower setup.sh will handle this file easily so you don't need to mention the backup or restore file tower will the script will do that automatically you can customize uh, this uh, backup location the file name everything using the extra variables uh, in our case uh, we just uh, use the default one for an easy demo uh, so i will just give another sample at the end of this uh, demo how we can mention the backup file name or destination okay now we will uh, try how we can uh, restore the backup from the existing backup so i uh, will check the directory okay there are two files one is original other one is the sim link so we use the setup.sh then hyphen r to restore we don't need to mention the backup file to be restored so ansible uh, script will take automatically we run the script when we run the script with hyphen r ansible server will uh, the, the script will automatically uh, use the restoration script uh, playbook and restore from the latest backup so wait for the restore operation to be completed please take note uh, when while restoring uh, there will be interruption uh, means ansible will stop the services and, and restore and start the services back if all good so you just make sure you are doing this in a maintenance window or uh, you have enough time for downtime now the server uh, service will be stopped by the script or the playbook and yeah it will take some time to stop all those uh, services because uh, we have uh, multiple components inside the server like SQL server then the API then the supervisor the yeah all those components So once the service is stopped, then it will try to restore the backup. Uh, so everything automatic and you just need to wait for the playbook to be completed. Uh, you can check the playbook for details uh, like what are the operations are are completing and uh, during the backup or restore operations the playbooks are inside the same installation directory actually when you use the switch and seeable script it will automatically call the respective playbooks to do the operations like backup install or restore so once the restoration completed uh, playbook will automatically start all the services back so wait for the task to be completed and check if any error so we can see there is no the no issues uh, and we check the directory so in directory nothing will happen because it's a restore operation to the database yeah that's it actually but uh, to discuss more on the uh, backup uh, and the extra variables to use I, if I take a backup again what will happen so there will be an additional backup okay so there will be two backup files but uh, we will see which uh, backup will consider the latest because the script will automatically point the latest backup with the sim link so you check the directory again and you can see there are two backup files now but uh, now the latest dot ata dot gz is pointed to the latest one that's how the script manages the latest one so even you don't even uh, you don't need to mention uh, which file name to be used for backup or which backup to be used for restoration let's say if you want to mention i need to restore this 
uh, backup you can use uh, extra variable so let's say I want to restore from an old backup by default it will take the latest but I just want to make sure I need to restore from different backup files then you can mention that uh, file using extra variable so I will use the parameter restore backup uh, file and I mention the file name so it can be any location it can be current directory or it can be from different directory okay so I mentioned that one and run it again so what will happen it will restore from that backup okay run it and we will wait for the job to be completed uh, for this demo we cannot show anything any difference but these are actual operations to be done for backing up or restore uh, ansible tower configuration so yeah uh, that are the options available uh, for back backup uh, also you can mention different file name different location uh, please refer the documentation for all the available uh, extra variables or parameters to be used for the setup.sh script and as I mentioned uh, if this is a clustered setup uh, if you are using a multi-node cluster just make sure you follow the uh, document there are some changes uh, just follow the document that's it uh, thanks for watching please remember to subscribe uh, we will talk about another demo in the next video thank you